What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm showing you seven powerful Samsung features that are already on your phone. Some classic, some newer, that can seriously improve how you use your device and help you get your pennies worth. But before I start, I want to say a big thank you to everyone who watched my last video. I really appreciate the support, it honestly means a lot. And a quick favor, if this video gives you some value or you learned something new, please like this video. It helps you to push this content to more Samsung users so that they can use their phone properly too. Also, only 15.6% of you are subscribed. Where are the rest of you guys? So if you enjoy Samsung tips and hidden features like this, please subscribe to this channel. You will genuinely benefit from it. All right, let's get straight into it. So feature number one is where you can create a checklist in Samsung Notes. So you're in a supermarket, you know you need milk, but what else? You start walking through the aisles, trying to remember everything. Did I need eggs? Maybe bread? Maybe pasta? Why did I come here? Or maybe you're at work with multiple tasks, switching between apps, messages coming in, meetings starting, and suddenly your whole day feels messy and unorganized. So Samsung Notes isn't just for random writing. It has a built-in checklist feature that lets you create interactive task list. So you can add items, tick them off when you complete, rearrange tasks, group things by categories, sync across devices, and keep everything saved to your Samsung account. So you can go ahead and use this for shopping, daily routines, gym plans, studies, work projects, travel packing, bills, and reminder. So everything stays in one clean place. So let me show you how to do this. So here, open up Samsung Notes. We'll go ahead and create a new note. And here we can go ahead and create some checkboxes. So here you wanna go ahead and bring your keyboard up. And just next to your T here, you'll see the checkbox. Go ahead and tap on this. And now go ahead and start writing your list. So once you add something, the checkbox will be automatically added to the bottom here. So here I'll just go ahead and put down what I need from the supermarket. Now once that's done, press back, give it a name, and I'll press back. Now you are at a supermarket, you can go ahead and open this, go through the list and go ahead and tick mark what's done. So as you can see, once you start ticking off, it crosses it out and it grays it out. That means you have completed that task. So this basically reduces your mental stress, helps you stay organized, saves time, prevents forgetting important things, it improves your productivity and it keeps your day structured. So it's simple but life-changing once you use it daily. Now feature number two is your auto framing in video mode. So you're recording family gathering, people keep moving around, someone stands up, someone else walks in, suddenly half the people are out of frame, heads are cut off and your video looks messy. Or you're recording a YouTube video or a TikTok alone, you lean forward, move sideways or stand up and you walk straight out of the camera view. So Samsung's auto framing uses AI to automatically detect faces, people and objects, and you can go ahead and manually select the object. It then dynamically adjusts the camera to keep everything centered so it can track up to 10 people at the same time, zooming in and out smoothly. So it also keeps objects centered if you're showing something on camera and this turns your phone into a smart camera operator. So here I'll just go ahead and show you. So we'll go ahead and open up camera. We'll go ahead and open up the video mode. Go ahead and tap on the four dots. Go ahead and swipe left and you'll see auto framing. Go ahead and enable this. So as you can see, once you enable auto framing, it'll basically zoom out a bit. Now we'll go ahead and just place this here. So I'll just place it on the left of the screen. Now I can go ahead and just tap on this. And as you can see, this basically zooms in and centers the item. Now if I go ahead and move this item, your camera will keep track of that and we'll try to keep that item in the center always. So I'll go ahead and lift this camera up and I'll go ahead and show you in the screen recording. So here I can go ahead and tap on anything. Say for example, the cup. I'll zoom in on the cup, keep it in center. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Tap on the plant, it zooms in. I'll tap on the cup. And as you can see, it's basically zooming in and zooming out. So it's trying to keep that item or object in center. So if you do this the same with a person, it'll basically try to keep that person in the center as well. So like this, you have a professional looking videos, perfect for framing every time. This is great for group recordings, amazing for creators, ideal for that family moment, and no need for any constant adjustments. 
it saves editing time. So once you use it, regular video mode feels outdated. Now, feature number three is your something wrong diagnostics in settings. So your phone starts to act strange, your battery drains fast, app crashes, phone feels slow and storage is full. So you start thinking, is my phone broken? Do I need a new one? Should I go to a repair shop? You don't need to do that. Samsung includes a full device health system in settings called something wrong. Inside you get automatic optimization, full hardware, diagnostics, battery health checks, memory cleaning, and many more tools. So your phone can literally test itself. So let me show you how you can get this. So here, go ahead and open up settings. Next, you wanna go ahead and press search. And now you wanna go ahead and just bring this down. Now from here, the topics, you need to find something's wrong. So go ahead and scroll down and you'll see something's wrong. Go ahead and tap on this. So now by clicking on something's wrong, this will basically give you all the suggestions. So here you can go ahead and click on auto optimization, diagnostics, memory, contact, reset, software update, and tips and user guide. Now you can go through all this menu and try to fix your phone by yourself. If you cannot, go ahead and tap on contact us. This will now take you to the diagnostics for Samsung. So here you can go ahead and chat with the Samsung person. You can have remote management. So you can basically have some Samsung employee look at your phone. You can go ahead and run a phone diagnostic. So you can check if your phone functions are working properly. If you tap on this, you'll basically go through some diagnostics. So this way you can detect problem early. You can fix performance issues. You can extend your phone lifespan, avoid unnecessary repairs, save money and get official support easily. So you can keep your phone running smoothly. So it's like having a mechanic built into your phone. Now feature number four is where you can change font and download new fonts. So you unlock your phone, everything looks the same. Same font, same style, same boring layout. After a while, your phone just feels dull. So Samsung allows you to change your system font, download new font from Galaxy Store, adjust size and thickness, and you can apply fonts across all the apps. So you can choose from all the stylish fonts which are available. So let me show you how you can do this. So first we'll go ahead and look at font. So if you open up your settings, go into display, scroll down and find font size and style, tap on it. And here you can go ahead and choose all the different styles. So as you can see, these first four are the default fonts, which are already installed. There's one which I've downloaded from the internet called Rosemary. You can go ahead and select that and that will let you select it. You can go ahead and do bold. You can go ahead and change the font size around. Now, if you don't like the default one, you can go ahead and tap on download fonts and this will take you to the Samsung store and you can go ahead and browse through these and download the fonts. You can go ahead and tap on the top paid or top free. Go ahead and choose some font. So for example, let's choose this. Coco Cookie, and now that's installed, go back, go ahead and choose that, and now your font has been applied. So if I press home, this will be applied to all your icons, to your settings, and to your notifications as well. So you personalize your device, you make your phone feel new, it improves your readability, reduces eye strain, better for accessibility, and it expresses your style. So your phone should match you. Now, feature number five is your Stranger Things themes. So you watched my yesterday video regarding Stranger Things themes, and here I'm showing you where you can get more Stranger Things themes. So Samsung offers an official Stranger Things themes when you have a Netflix app installed. So here there are many different varieties of themes which you can apply on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let me show you how you can get this. Again, go ahead and open up the Samsung store, from here, go ahead and tap on search. And here you wanna go ahead and tap on themes, search for Stranger Things. Now, if you go ahead and look at Stranger Things, you can go ahead and scroll down and you find different wallpapers. So here you can go ahead and apply all these different wallpapers which are available. So if you like any of them, you can go ahead and apply this theme. However, you can go ahead and apply these wallpapers. So I'll just go ahead and download it. This will open up Netflix, go back to my themes, apply it. And now I can go ahead and choose if I want them on my lock screen or my home screen. I'll go ahead and choose for both. Press done. And like this, you can go ahead and apply those themes. So it gives you a unique look, fun experience, perfect for fans. It makes your phone stand out and it feels premium and custom. Not essential, but seriously cool. 
Now, feature number six is your tap indicator. So you record a tutorial, people keep commenting, where did you tap? I missed that part, I don't understand. So tap indicator shows a visual circle every time you touch the screen. So this is hidden inside developer option. And when enabled, viewers can clearly see where you press. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So for this, go ahead and open up settings, scroll all the way down, and here you need to enable the developer mode option. So this is a secret menu, which you won't be able to see right now. However, if you follow this step, go ahead and tap on about phone, go into software information, go ahead and tap multiple times on build number until you see a message appear right here saying developer mode has been enabled. Now go back, go ahead and tap on developer option. Now go ahead and scroll down and here you need to find the tap indicator. So this is called show taps. This will show the visual feedback for your taps. Go ahead and switch this feature on. Now, if I press home, you'll see a yellow circle, which appears. If I tap anywhere, basically shows me a yellow circle. So this basically shows that I have tapped it over there. So this is perfect for tutorials. It improves your learning, better screen recording. You can have a professional look. This is great for YouTubers, ideal for teachers. And this is also great for your confirmation that your touchscreen is actually working. Small feature, but a huge upgrade. Now, lastly, feature number seven is where you can improve your setting search with Registar. So you wanna change one setting, you search, but nothing shows up. You scroll for three minutes and still can't find anything. So Registar enhances Samsung setting search, so you get smarter results, deep setting access, keyword detection, and custom shortcuts. So here, if you go ahead and tap on search, and let's just say, I wanna go ahead and search for something called voice access. So if I search for voice access, if I type in voice, it gives me a lot of options here. Now here I need to go ahead and keep typing my another word. So let's say access. Then it'll show me these few options. So as you can see, it's still giving me quite a lot of options. So basically this is giving you everything that is in order. So it's not giving you accurate results at all. So like this, you need to go ahead and spend more time finding what you're actually looking for. So to improve this, you wanna go ahead and open up GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, scroll down and find Registar. Now in Registar, tap on search options. And here where it says display policy, tap on this and change this to accuracy. Now once that's done, press home. Now go ahead and do your search. So now when you go ahead and search for voice access, you'll see that your search results are now changed. So as it reads, it basically gives you accurate results. So the first option here is your voice access. So that is what you want. So this basically saves time daily, no frustration, faster access, better control, and this is perfect for power users. So that's seven Samsung features that can seriously improve your phone experience. And remember, if this video gave you value or you learned something new, please like this video. It helps YouTube share this with more Samsung users so they can use their phone properly and get their money's worth. And once again, only 15.6% of you are subscribed. Please don't be part of that 84%. Like, comment your favorite feature and subscribe to this channel. Thank you again to everyone who watched my last video. I'll see you in the next one.